Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is another tutorial of signal and systems. And in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about basic categories and basic classification of signals. So what are those classification? Those are continuous time and discrete time signals. So very first thing that we are going to discuss is continuous time signal. So what is a continuous time signal? Continuous time signal is a signal which have values specified only for for all the points in the time interval, right? Uh, and what does it mean? We are going to observe visually. So uh, by concept, one can say that it is a signal which is defined in a continuous manner for every point, which is for the given time interval. And uh, there are many physical applications and examples are available, which can, which, which falls under the category of continuous time signal. For example, Music, music is an example of continuous time signal because uh, the, uh, the duration for which a music signal lost will be continuous. You can't say there is a gap between the two samples because there will always be some intensity variations available for very minute duration. For example, you can take my example right now. I'm speaking to you guys through this microphone. So my vocal signals are continuous signals. If my speaking last for two minutes so for ev for every millisecond or every nanosecond of that two minutes my signals of my vocal signals will be there so basically this is the nature of uh, these signals so the nature of continuous time signals they are defined for every points or for all the points which are present in the time interval and uh, another example which one can quote is blood pressure with flowing uh, uh, pressure of blood flowing through the veins of human being because uh, it will also be continuous it won't be uh, it won't be something uh, that you will check for one instant you won't find the pressure there there will be pressure present every time right so this is the uh, kind of uh, continuous uh, signal which is present in the form of physical phenomena right and uh, we have already discussed that signal actually highlights a physical phenomena. The second category and the second greatest uh, category of signals is discrete time signal. And that is, uh, as it name, as it name indicates that uh, this is a signal whose values are specified only for discrete point, only for some selected points, right? In the given time interval, right? An example uh, could be, uh, I will take again an example from the daily life. For example, you can say currency rate. Currency rate is uh, a, a discrete uh, signal because the, the currency value, which will be on 11 March will be different from the currency value on the 12th March. So it's a discrete signal. The value of the currency is a discrete signal, though it has an information available with that, but it's this information is available in chunks. You can't have information of 12th March uh, 12 o'clock and 10 minutes, right? You will have a currency value on discrete and specified dates, right? Another information of discrete time value is amount uh, which is invested in the development budget. So it's again uh, the discrete value. You can't say that it's a continuous, it will vary, but in a specified interval. For example, for budget for 1920 was different budget for 2021 was different so it has it is a discrete value and there is a time interval between the two samples which is a one year right similarly you can take average rain rate either it is by hourly basis or it is on daily basis but the, it, still it is a discrete time signal because it is not defined for all the time domain rather it is defined on a specific points of the time domain that is why it is called discrete time signal so these are the basic two categories and now we will see how to model them mathematically or how to visualize them graphically. Okay, the next thing we are going to talk about is mathematical representation of continuous time signal. Uh, then we will talk about discrete time signals. So continuous time signals, uh, this is the mathematical model of a continuous time signal. Uh, what is thing to be noted here or what are the main keywords are this is the symbol for the signal. This T is time domain or reflecting the domain in which uh, or the independent variable uh, of function your signal is. And this small alphabet is basically the name of the signal. So this is X is a signal whose function of time T. 
And this part is basically the definition part of the signal, which actually dictates its magnitude on uh, various points. And we will see uh, that thing when we are going to visualize uh, that signal in graphical representation. Uh, the third important part is the, the interval declaration for which this definition lasts. So basically this X of T uh, has this definition, which is equals to T plus one, right? So this X of T have a magnitude of T plus one, but for what interval, whenever T is greater than or equals to zero, that means uh, your time should be uh, greater than zero or for known negative numbers, right? Similarly, there is another example for in this second example, you see this Y, Y is a name of the signal, which is uh, Y of T and T is again the time domain and this time definition is a bit different because every signal behaves differently compared to another signal. So its definition is, or its mathematical model is T square minus one. Interesting point to note that the second uh, signal doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, interval definition because this is uh, defined for all the domain. One can say it's starting from minus infinity and goes to uh, plus infinity. Furthermore, you can say it involves both left-handed domain and right-hand domain, right? We are further going to observe these things on graphical representation. Okay, next thing we are going to discuss is the mathematical representation of discrete time signal, and it will look like this. So again, if you are observing or contrasting it with what we have discussed with continuous time domain signal, the difference is with this bracket, right? Uh, earlier it was like X of T and there was a round bracket, which indicates the continuous time signal. So what is different here? This is again the name of the signal. This is the domain and is a symbol as, as domain, or you can say it is also sample of the uh, discrete time signal. We are going to discuss it further when we are going to see the uh, graphical representation and very important feature of discrete time signal is the sample space. It, that means, for example, uh, as we have discussed, the discrete time signal is defined for a specified point. For example, this is the time interval. It is defined on this point. Then it is point defined on this point. So the space between these two consecutive sample is called sample space or capital T. So uh, X is a function of both symbols and the sample space, right? And then there we come to the point some uh, signal definition, which is n plus two. So again, if you see the definition of the signal is only function of sample. And we are going to verify this thing once we are going to plot the uh, graph of this signal, right? And again, the third part is uh, interval declaration for which the signal lasts. So this X of N T signal, which is a discrete time signal because this square bracket indicates that it is a discrete time signal. Uh, has a definition of n plus two for the time interval or for the duration when samples are greater than or equals to zero. Again, there is a second example given. So y of n t, so y is a discrete time signal, n is a domain, t is a sample space, and n square minus one is a definition of signal or amplitude of the signal or strength of the signal at any point or at any symbol, right? Again, for this signal, we haven't any uh, interval defined because this signal is defined for all domain starting from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, the next thing we are going to discuss in this video tutorial is graphical representation and we will discuss first in the continuous time domain. So for example, if we take a signal X of T whose definition is uh, T square plus one and if we want to plot it, so how we are going to plot it? Uh, for example, we want to uh, put the values of different times. So let's say if we put X of zero, so that would become what? Uh, zero square means zero plus one would become plus one, right? Similarly, you can take another value, for example, two. So two square means four plus one, that means five, right? Similarly, you can take various values of time domain since it is not defined any interval. So you, will, you can take values from minus infinity to plus infinity and you draw it, right? So if I'm going to draw it, so signal will look like something like that. How? It will be something like that. If you visualize it, so this is a continuous time signal, which is defined for every point within the time interval. For example, I can see the value at this specific point, probably it is 0.5. Or for example, this is 
because this is one so it is it is something 1.1 or 1.21 so this is the nature of continuous time signal it is defined for every instant given in time domain right and that is called uh, uh, the continuous nature of continuous sign signal right we will see another example let's see it is another continuous time domain example you can see its its definition is different so its behavior or its graph is different uh, one can actually see the same nature of continuous time domain signal that it is defined again for every instant uh, within the given time interval again same this is uh, this is valid for every point of uh, time so that is why we have taken certain range minus 3 to 3 and it has a certain values but point to be noted is here that Uh, its values are defined for every instant for within the given interval okay now we are going to talk about discrete time signal graphical representation so graphical uh, let's take an example okay here we have to be a bit careful right because we are talking about discrete time values right we will not take the continuous values rather we will take discrete values so for example this is a signal x of nt which is whose definition is what n plus 2 right for example i take n is equals to 0 so it is a sample number 0 and if i calculate x of 0 would be what easy is equals to since 0 will be substituted against n so 0 plus 2 would become what 2 uh, you can take another value for example let's say n is equals to negative sample so i will take minus 1 so x of minus 1 would be what would be Minus one plus two because n will be substituted with the value minus one. So minus one plus two would become what equals to one. Similarly, you can take various values, but the point to be noted is that the sample space is what t is equals to one. That means the space between the two samples in time domain because we are talking about discrete time domain. If time domain is being discreted or it is rigidized, that means you will have uh sam samples within the time domain but on discrete points those samples would be what these samples but they will be digitized or uh, uh expressed after these after this sample space so let's take the let's see the picture of this graph it will look like this if you notice this is the uh time domain and it is basically combination of nt right so this is sample 0 whose value was 2 you can see that it is verified it is 2 you can see that it is something like that there are samples right so its value is 2 similarly at minus 1 it was equals to 1 so you can see that n is equal to minus 1 uh, it is a sample number furthermore its value is what 1 similarly you can see the most important thing to notice here is the sample space which is the space between two samples right so if you clearly noticing the sample space this is basically one in time domain this is two in time domain so the sample space is what how much is one so uh, you can also uh, imagine that if time spacing is basically less than one then this signal will this signal will be compressed right and if you uh, increase it uh, so is the signal will be uh, basically expanded and you you will notice this uh, thing in next example so let's consider another example with uh, different value of sample space so now i'm going to take example of x of nt its definition is n plus 2 but the point to note here is again the sample space which is basically how much 0.5 that means the space in discrete points of dis digitize or discrete time domain the sample between two consecutive sample will be what 0.5 second right and we will observe it we will again plot some examples let's say for example if i am going to z plot x of 0 so by putting n is equals to 0 it will become simply 2 let's say we take this time positive 1 so x of 1 would be what is equals to 3 right so sample 0 uh, would be what 2 and sample this is n is equals to 0 and sample 1 would be what 3 and the space between these two sorry some this is sample number 1 and its magnitude is around 3 so the space between these two samples should be what 0.5 seconds in discrete time domain right so let's see if we are going to plot the complete picture 
of this graph or this signal, how it would look like. Yes, it would look like something like that. If you see, this is the same thing, n is equal to zero sample and its value is what? Two, as we have dictated. It is n is equals to one is the second sample, right? Second sample means after n is equal to zero is the next one. So it is n is equal to one, but its value in time domain is not one. It's 0.5 because the sample space between the two consecutive samples are 0.5. It's 0.5 now, right? Similarly, n is equal to two. Uh, it is basically n is equal to two, but it is appearing on one because it is being multiplied with time uh, sample space, right? So this is the discrete time domain and these are the discrete samples of digitized signal or discrete signal. I hope you have understand the graphical, mathematical uh, representation of discrete and continuous time domain and you have got an idea. If you still you have any confusion regarding this topic, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.